The eccentric Argentinian president, Javier Millet, has promised to set out a so-called diplomatic roadmap for the UK to hand back the Falkland Islands to the South American nation. Well, the UK occupied the islands in 1833 and defeated the Argentine army in a war over the territory in 1982. But... Under pressure from hardliners in his country, Malay said in a speech to mark Malvinas Day, as they call it, I want to reiterate our unwavering claim for the islands and I commit that during our government we will have a clear roadmap so that the Malvinas return to Argentine hands. Now, this should actually genuinely be quite concerning because, yes, he may just be saying it's a panda to his base, but he is a man who has done everything he said he was going to do so far. So this, I think, yes, is concerning. I'm joined now by Roger Spink, a member of the Legislative Assembly of the Falkland Islands. Roger, thank you very, very much. Um, you, are, you are on the Falkland Islands now, I believe, which is great. It's the closest to it I've ever been. Um, look, what do you make of this? Good evening, Patrick. Yes, I'm in Stanley. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're fairly relaxed. Uh, the previous government was obviously very anti the Falklands. Uh, the, the, the new uh, president um, is looking for a different way forwards. Um, I don't think uh, that means that Argentina's dropping its, its claim, but I think uh, certainly... Um, we will see and we, we, we await with interest how this changes Argentina's stance as regards the Falkland Islands. Slightly concerned at all. I mean, this guy is a bit of a cult hero to many people, a bit mad, possibly, which you know, I happen to quite like, apart from when he might be laying claim to a bit of British sovereign territory, which now he is doing. Yeah, well, Argentina um, have real economic difficulties. They have inflation around 200%. Uh, rampant poverty amongst their people. So um, a lot of the time, Argentine poli uh, uh, politicians use the Falklands to divert attention from the ills of their own economy and their own mismanagement of their own economy. Mm. Um, we're very, very confident in the protection that we have uh, from the British forces at Mount Pleasant. We're also very confident in the support we have from the British government. We recently had a visit by Lord Cameron to the Falklands, where he reiterated the support for the people of the Falklands and our wishes to remain British, which we uh, expressed in a referendum just over 10 years ago. Um, so we're yeah. very confident and we also have support, cross-party support in the Houses of Parliament. So we're very relaxed about uh, the attitude of the Argentines. It's nothing new from our point of view. And I think um, we will wait and see what actions this new president actually uh, does in the, in, in the future. I think mm. probably his statements were for domestic consumption. Are you almost laughing a bit at the Argentinian president here, do you think? You do seem, I mean, remarkably relaxed about the whole thing. Well, we've seen it, you know, for the last 42 years, we've seen the temperature go up and down as regards our relationship with Argentina. We're a very peaceful uh, nation. We, we like to get on with our neighbours. We have good relationships with Chile, Uruguay, Brazil, Paraguay, etc. Argentina just continues to make their unfounded claims on the Falklands. Mm. And while you look across the world, people are fighting for, for uh, self-determination in Ukraine, etc. Um, you know, Argentina is just like Russia. They, they, they try to brainwash their people that there is this spurious claim for the Falklands. And as far as you're concerned, there is absolutely no, no claim for it. I mean, would you, would you fight them on the beaches, as it were? Well, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think people here uh, almost are very, very united. You know, I mean, mm. our, our referendum, almost 99% wish to remain British. And I think uh, there's no reason, although that was 10 years ago, I think there's no reason to doubt that if we had a referendum today, the result would be very similar. So I, I don't think people in the Falklands have any doubt about our wish to remain being British. So and no, and, and it's, it's, it's worth prefer. noting as well, isn't it? It's worth noting as well that there is actually, I believe, a permanent British military presence and not an insignificant one on, on the Falkland Islands. I mean, it wouldn't be that easy for them to take, would it? No, no, and and we are reassured. We we are, we get regular briefings from the military. And we're very reassured by the British president presence at Mount Pleasant. And we think that it's at a level 
that is uh, more than capable of dealing with any of the existing threats from Argentina. Could I ask, look, why... I mean, I, I obviously do care about the Falkland Islands, and, and just so just this is a hypothetical question, but, you know, why should I care? Why should, you know, loads of people out there uh, here on, on the mainland, as it were, uh, in Britain, care about the Falkland Islands? You know, we've got a load of our own stuff going on here, taxpayers' money being splashed around all over the gaff. Well, why should we care about whether or not, you know, Argentina has, has your back garden, mate? I, th I think we are part of the British. We're very proud to be part of the British family. And we see ourselves as Britain's gateway to Antarctica. Um, so we're more than just the Falkland Islands. There's South Georgia down here, the British Antarctic territories, etc. And we see ourselves as being strategically important for Britain. And um, we, we, do, we don't rely on uh, Britain for any aid to uh, run our own economy. Um, so other than defence, we are totally self-sustaining, and we're very proud to be self-sustaining. Uh, not in any way fearful of a Labour government, I take it? Not at all, no. We've, we, we know most of the Labour um, uh, front bench uh, members, and they are very, very supportive of the, the, the Falkland so Islands. Could, could I just ask you, you know, imagine I am Javier Malay now, all right, which might be easier for some people to imagine than others. You know, what's, what's your message to the Argentinian yeah, mad cat president right now. Well, I, I, I would say that, you know, we are peaceful. There are a number of areas such as exchange of fisheries information, uh, flights, uh, et cetera, where we can cooperate together mm. peacefully to the benefit of Argentina and the Falklands and the people of the Falklands. And I think um, in this day and age, we need to have a grown up relationship that actually um, is 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 recognising there is a difference over yeah. a sovereignty, but we live we are neighbours, and there are things that would be beneficial to both sides.